She's gorgeous. She's, she's my life. She wakes me up at 7.30 in the morning, like that, big smile on her face. I'm like, oh, it's great. I've just had a tattoo done of her, actually. Phoenix bird. It's a bit dry, because I had it, I had it done about two days ago. Well, there you go. <laughs> and believe me, it was painful, very painful. Working with Teddy Riley, he's, he was a little bit weird. I think he expected some pretentious pop star, you know, big-headed woman to walk through the door. You know, I think he had, like, crystal champagne on ice and all that business. And, you know, he was a little bit hard work. And that was the first time that I went out to go and work on the project. So it was a bit of a, mm, I hope everyone's not going to be like this. But he did get sorted out in the end. You know, I just think he finds it difficult to communicate with another artist when they're there in the vocal booth singing. You know, you do need helping out. You do need a bit of direction as opposed to control your voice. It's like, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> but I shouted back at him and we kind of sorted it out. I did 123 ABC with him. Pack your, mm, oh, I mean, I can't tell you the title of it because it involves a swear word. Pack your beep, it's called. <laughs> it's a really, you know, angry, not angry, it's, it, well, it, angry stroke, disappointed stroke, how could you do this to me song. I will have a censored sticker and it is, you know, I mean, that song isn't exactly what happened to me. It is slightly exaggerated. You know, there's lots of women out there that scream and shout at their man if they do something wrong. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, I've known him for about four years and um, I did a track with him last year. It's the only song on the album that I didn't co-write, actually. Just sort that out and that's called Step Inside. It's got like an orchestra on it and it's beautiful. Very dark and mysterious song. Actually, that was one of the quick, quickest songs that I've recorded on the album. That took like something like six hours. Normally, like you're in there all day and all night, kind of getting every little thing perfected for mastering. But that was quite a quick one. It was amazing for me to see Max, you know, he did all the score sheet and he conducted like a 60 odd piece orchestra. And I've never seen that before. I'm like, I had Phoenix with me and even Phoenix was like that. He was doing all the, however they do it. I was like, and, and, and to hear them playing such classical stuff to like a dirty fat bass line. It's like, wow, it's great. I've got it all on video. <laughs> Yeah, we started dating at the beginning of this year. Everything's going really well. I mean, he's busy doing his films. He's doing, like, a film in Toronto with Mariah Carey at the moment, so he's busy doing his thing and I'm busy doing my thing. We've got a nice, happy, healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. He plays the piano when I walk down the stairs in the morning and it's lovely. <laughs> Oh, he is just a big ball of talented energy. He's amazing. I mean, he's somebody who I've listened to when he was with Drew Hill. You know, he's like, I'm like a big fan of his. And I spent two weeks with him in, in L.A. And he's just brilliant to work with. Brilliant. I did three songs with him as well. It's good. Well, it was before he brought out his solo album. I mean, I was in the studio, I was like, listen to this song, like, Unleash the Dragon, listen to the thong song. I was like, you can't release that. He was like, yes, I can. And he, he was, like, shooting his video for Unleash the Dragon while I was in there doing vocals. He was, like, running in and out from it. It was like madness, madness, madness.
My album's out on the 2nd of October. I want to see how people take it and if they like it. I mean, I've already got my band together, so hopefully I'll go touring with it at some point next year. And then, you know, I want to get another album out if people want it. Because I want to work with Prince and Mary J. Blige. I mean, I didn't even have time to work with them. So if everything goes to plan and you like it out there, I'll be doing another one. I interviewed Prince at his house. I was like that, um, so what car do you drive? <laughs> no, I'm really joking. <laughs> I was nervous though. He was just doing a generic interview and he, he chose me to interview him. I was like, what, me? Mad. <laughs>